Alrighty folks, welcome back. It's time for some more Technode Firmicraft here on the TNFC Territory server. At least that's what I've named. Anyway, um, today we're going to build a bloomery and actually start processing iron, which we have not been able to do yet. Base is just over there, not too far away, and I know Sim was over here uh, getting some sh smooth shale because he wanted to build with it, and I also want to build with it and there's none left in the base, so I came over here. Uh, this is what we call an open cut mine. You just basically dig straight down and uh, everything will stay. You don't have to worry about supports and all that kind of stuff unless you want to dig into the walls. Now the reason we did it here is right here I had marked limonite and we did a little pro picking around and this appeared to be the center of the pro pick um, readings and indeed this is where the limonite is. Look at it. It's beautiful. Actually it's not beautiful. It's kind of brown and icky but I would, thought I would just show you guys what we got down here, I've already got a stack, a stack and 12 more smooth shales. So obviously I'm just down here chiseling away with, uh, you know, can, can I? There we go. Chiseling away and then uh, grabbing all the smooth shale. And I've left the limonite for the most part now, but I think I'm going to go ahead and grab some more. We do have some back in base already, but uh, you know what? A little more won't be bad. And as I recall, hmm, I'm going to say, as I recall, it takes quite a bit of like or to make enough iron to do anything with but I think yeah the uh, the units are doubled and I'm trying to remember if that was iron or if that was steel honestly it might be steel so uh, yeah anyway just thought I would kinda show you guys what's going on here and uh, finish gathering some materials for our build today and uh, that's kinda it for right now I guess yeah oh I guess I can mention it's um, it's May the uh, days are passing quickly. I've been checking the logs a little bit, and yeah, we've got people basically from all over the world logging in for two or three or four hours here and there, and it basically keeps the server active uh, kind of all day. Not not quite all day, but a lot of the day. And that means every time I log in, the time has uh, progressed again. So when I logged out last night, it was still um, when I logged out last night, it was still frozen and snowing out. And when I logged in today, it's now May and was time to get the crops in the ground first thing when I got in. So that's it. Let me chisel some more of this. We'll do a little more digging here. And uh, I'll head back to base. We'll start working on that bloomery. Catch you guys there in a minute. Okay, back at base and time to make our bloomery. Let's take a look at the uh, quest book here. So making the bloomery is going to take eight bronze double sheets. Okay, so the bloomery is actually an item that you place into the multi-block, uh, which is also called a bloomery, which is kind of confusing, but there you go. Uh, so we're going to get that started, and while that's going, or while that's warming up, we're going to take a look at how to actually build this. Uh, okay, so first we cla craft the bloomery block, which takes eight bronze double sheets, and then multi-block structure, at least, yeah, okay, so let's do three by three. We'll do that in a minute. Uh, add the things, and then, yeah, see the wiki if you want more. Information. Okay, I probably should have started this before I started recording, but I forgot to, so that's all right. We'll get this started, and then we'll build some stuff while uh, this is going. So we're going to need... Man, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Um, well, let's see. I already did a bunch of this before... There they are. We have 15 bronze sheets. I need 16. So let's just look this up. Uh, bloom. Okay, here's the bloomery. That takes eight double sheets, and each double sheet, of course, takes two regular sheets. Each regular sheet takes a double ingot. So we need to make use two ingots to make a double ingot, and then use the double ingot to make a sheet, and then use two double ingot two sheets to make a double sheet. So anyway, you need 16. Um, bronze sheets which is going to take you let's warm this up which is going to wait do we have a can this one go on here no all right um which is going to take you 32 bronze yeah if i got my numbers right yep 32 bronze so we're going to warm that up and we're going to have to do some uh, welding of the sheets together and we need two more iron to get warmed up so we're going to do that let that go it's going to take it a couple minutes here and while that's going on, we're going to start building our bloomery. So, 
Uh, I got a couple stacks of shale, which I was showing you earlier. Let's make it kind of in line with this. Now there is our exploratory mine back here, but I don't want to cover that up. But I think we can do, yeah, we can do it just like this. So it'll basically be a three by three. Uh, we'll leave three, three blocks between. So you could put something there, something there, and still, yeah, okay, that'll work. And all right, so we're gonna go here, here, and here. So basically, how to do this? And I don't have the bloomery button block done yet. So let's use thatch as a temporary stand-in for our bloomery block. Is you do this, 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 and this. And then we put the bloomery there and it works sort of like a uh, fence gate. Alright. Now on the back side we want to surround this air gap with stone. Whoops. And I just misplaced completely. Uh, this air gap that I just, you know, covered up. Uh, we want to surround that with stone on all sides. Break that. Alright, so I believe, if I've done this properly, that is the most basic bloomery you can make. You have to surround the bloomery block with solid blocks, uh, stone, stone bricks, whatever. Make sure they're uh, TFC blocks though, because I mean, if you tried to use carpenter's blocks or something, I don't see that working uh, at all. Dark red, okay, that's gonna, that's gonna be, need to be dealt with really soon here. Uh, and then you need to surround that air block that's behind the bloomery block with uh, stone, except for the top, which is sort of your chimney. Okay, here we go. Bright red. Can weld, can work. We're going to weld these together and then make a sheet, and then we're going to have to start welding these sheets together, which is going to take a while. All right, should be good enough. Uh, obviously, I've already done this a few times, so basically, I'll weld them together, put it in here, select sheet, and then this sequence is exactly the same two, three, four, and done. That sequence is exactly the same per map. I believe it's randomized, so if we go to another map seed, that will be a different sequence. But once you figure it out, it's the same every single time. Uh, let's see, that's, that's way ahead of these three, so I'm going to just put it over here for the moment, and we're going to put some more charcoal in. Uh, like I said, so when, once you get that figured out, you can continue doing that thing over and over and over. And I am doing a couple of extra hits there, but I tried to find a better one and I got all screwed up, so uh, I just stuck with what's working for me. All right, so we're going to let uh, this one cool down a little bit, let these warm up a little bit, and then we're going to weld all this together to make uh, double sheets. Can we just see that real quickly? Oh, well, there's 29 different things you can do with it, apparently. Oh, wow. Trap doors, bronze sheets, and copper. Huh. Cool. What else can we make? A lantern core. Oh, well, there's the one we wanted. So two of these just welded together makes the double sheet. Uh, okay, dark red, and now you're you're too cold. But that's okay. Well, they're pretty close. Uh, so we'll just weld all those together. That's going to give us the eight bronze sheets. And since the forge is running, let me go ahead and do that right now, and then we will make that bloomery itself, and then we'll kind of expand upon that and make the multi-block a bit better. All right, so these are ready. Yes. Be right back. Well, I suppose. Whoa! Danger! Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! Uh, let's just weld one of these. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but uh, you have to have flux here. You put them up there, you weld them, bam, double sheet. Okay. That's it. I will continue. Oh, and I don't let them over here because that's your safety, safety zone. If you overheat something, it will capture it into the ceramic mold but only if there's a spot. And now it's too cold because I can't... Alright, so obviously there's a little juggling here, but uh, anyway, I'll get these all welded together and come back to you guys in just a minute. Alright, cool. Just got the last one out. Um, these do stack, by the way, if I double click it. We get some of them, but not all of them. Because these are all cooled off. These are still... Well, that one just cooled off. This one's still hot, so they will stack, but only once they are the same temperature or once they're completely cooled off. Probably once they're completely cooled off. Um, but we want this one to cool off quickly, so let's do the old water barrel trick. We'll just throw you in here, and there you go. You're cooled off. All right, so we can finally get this silly thatch block out of here, and we should be able to use 32 bronze up that we had to make into double ingots to make the sheets, to make the double sheets, to make the bloomery. There you go. All right, so we just pop that guy right there, and there we go. And you can see, actually, 
I wonder, so it says charcoal and ore zero. I'm wondering if that tells us it's a good multi-block or if that just always says that. So I'm just curious. Oh no, it's, it just says it still. All right, so we definitely want to surround this. Hmm, do I want to? That's fine. That's fine. We don't need this block, but uh, we might want it just for aesthetics. Uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, uh, we're going to need ladders because you actually have to throw stuff into the top of this thing. And I, I was curious because the bloomery is so much different than the, you know, just copper and bronze and all that. So I kind of went and looked this up, and it turns out um, this this is a real thing that people people to smelt wrought iron actually do this or did this at, at one point. Uh, I'm going to make this a bit taller, by the way, because we want it to be, I think, three tall for the maximum amount of goodness. Maybe one more tall. Um, I think it's three above, so it's probably one more than this. Uh, yeah, so apparently when you find iron, iron ore in the world, oh, I heard a thing. Let me try this. Uh, when you find iron ore in the world, it's not really ore. It's um, it's just basically rock with some iron components to it. Um, I need, no, actually, I can use Sue's thatch block. Uh, it's basically rock with kind of this rusty iron component to it, not actual ore. So that should stay there. And we should be able to throw stuff in but not fall in. Yes. Uh, falling in there is a bad thing because then you basically have to break your bloomery and uh, lose whatever is in there. So a bunch of ways to do that, but you can do this. You can build a little... Uh, in the past I built like built up two and then put a half slab on it. I don't know. I might do that again. This looks a little weird. But anyway, that's one option. Um, so I guess you know when, when you go mining in the real world, you can actually find copper and you can actually find uh, tin and, and stuff. And it's actually kind of a metal form and you can, you can uh, use that to smelt it down and you know do stuff with it but once you get to iron you can't do that anymore apparently uh, you don't actually find straight up iron ore that you can just heat up and do stuff with you find like rocks that have a certain amount of iron content in them and um, that's that's kind of the deal okay so what I'm doing here is I'm getting ready uh, we need charcoal and we need the ore itself of course let me just put this all in the bar and again, this is the real deal. This is how you really do it in the real world. Uh, basically, you put charcoal in the bottom first. Put your eight charcoal down here. And in the real world, you would actually um, um, light this on fire right now and get this thing all nice and warm. And then go up top and throw your ore in from the top. Now, I think in this one, it's been a while since I've done this. But I believe in this one, you can just start throwing your, your ore and charcoal in. And in the end, you want the same amount of charcoal as ore. Although, I can't remember if that bottom one counts. I think the bottom one doesn't count. I think now we want six, you know, 24 charcoal and 24 ore. By the way, 8 per level is the max you can do. So with 3 high, which is the max, uh, you can do 24 at a time. So let's just start throwing this in. And notice how it's disappearing when it gets to the bottom. And it's stacking up. So there we go. We're starting to see the ore stacking up. Well, when we have enough charcoal we should see this is all stacked up right to the top and it looks like we do need that extra eight I think or I've done something horribly wrong up oh, there it goes a little bit of lag okay there we go finally got up to the top or I'm not sure what that was but it seems like a little bit of lag one would think this plank fence would burn I don't think it actually will but who cares even if it does alright now that we've done that let's come back over here grab our fire starter uh, flint and steel, of course, you can use a fire starter as well. Uh, light it. Do you light it from the top? I thought you lit it from down there. Hmm. Molten ore. Well, it's not going, is it? Do you just light this? There we go. All right, you close it and you light the bloomery block itself. Uh, and there you go. At the top, you can see we've got 24 charcoal, 24 ore. So you do need eight charcoal at the bottom. So it's it's an extra eight, and then an equal amount of charcoal and ore on top of that. And it's going to take uh, 15, I think that's 15 and a half hours or something like that. And then we will get a bloom of iron, which 
again, I looked this up and I was kind of watching it so you can see it start melting down and it starts kind of lowering itself as it melts, I guess. Um, this is this is kind of a real thing. So basically you've got these rocks with some uh, some iron content in them. You've got charcoal, which you made out in your charcoal pit, which is just out over here. And you put all this stuff in here and actually I think in the real world you basically you have to have like a bellows to pump air into it from below to make it hotter. Um, and then you, you just maintain it and add ore and add charcoal as needed for yeah like 15 hours and in the end you get this this big ma this big hot mass of uh, well I call it slag but you know basically rock and uh, you know all the melted stuff like the, the, the rocks and the um, uh, charcoal and the, the metal itself all that kind of just combined together and um, sitting there in the bottom and then you have to go work it which is exactly what we're gonna have to do here in a minute so that being said there was another thing I wanted to do and I thought we'd do this while the bloomer is running don't know if it'll finish or if I'll have to cut out but we'll find out uh, a couple more things so I just said something about doing the bellows and let's get you know what I hope it caught this let's go into their quest book yes it did okay so I made a bloomery now we need to make a bloom right so okay place uh, yep, there we go eight charcoal on the bottom and then throw eight ore pieces and eight charcoal down the chimney. So actually, was I showing? Yeah, I did. When we did this before, it was one tall, right? One above the bloomery block? No, I don't think it was. Yeah, you have to have at least one above the bloomery itself. So I guess my minimum configuration there might not have been quite right. Anyway, uh, so yes, you can add eight, and then if it's taller, you can add up to 24. Uh, afterwards, yeah, fire starter on the bloomery block itself, which is the key, and we'll get a raw bloom, and then we'll work on that next. All right, while that's going, uh, we can also do a couple things down here. So first is, let's do bellows. Uh, so this makes the forge hotter, um, and a key is, it does make the, well, actually, it says forge here, but you can actually place this next to a fire pit, aka campfire, uh, forge, or a blast furnace to make them hotter than normal. Um, which is, again, in the real world, you kind of need bellows to make that go, apparently. You don't just let it sit there. That's not quite true. I saw one where they didn't use it in a couple where they did use, like, bellows or some way to pump air into it. At any rate, uh, okay, so we're going to make this, and, yeah, here's the key bit. So right-clicking will increase the heat at the cost of fuel. So it burns fuel faster, makes the heat higher, but it does not increase the rate that items heat up. Uh, it says in a blast furnace. I'll have to look that up. I thought it was true of all of them. Well, it's time to eat again. And I guess I'd better drink before I start getting the uh, you can't move debuff. Let's just drink out of our water jug. Again, usually when I'm around base, so I'll, I'll just go drink out of the, the fresh water over there instead of risking breaking the water jug. But uh, for here, um, while I'm recording, let's go ahead and do it that way. All right, we're going to make the bellows. I probably just stopped saying in the mid, mid, something in mid sentence, but I don't know what it was. So bellows are pretty easy, except the leather, because you can't get Minecraft leather in this at all, as far as I know. Actually, can I click on one? Recipe? Nope. Uh, so you got to make TFC leather, and we did that a little while ago. Um, it's not the most simple, straightforward process. Again, it's more a realistic process, uh, which is kind of the whole point of TFC. And while we're at it, we're going to go ahead and. Yep, okay, it detected that. Only one step in this. And while we're at that, we're going to... Well, I guess I can turn that in. Oh, it's going to give me a second bellows. Hey, nice. Cool. Did it really give me? Oh, cool. So, like I said, you can do it on the uh, forge. You can do it on the blast furnace. I guess you can't do it on the... Well, yeah, there's no temperature gauge or anything on the, the, the bloomery. So this, the blast furnace, and you can put it on a fire pit, but I don't know why you'd want to, I guess. Um, so I can put that on the blast furnace when we get to that point. Cool. Uh, let's also make a crucible. And i got to tell you guys about this one a little bit. So basically you can make a crucible, put it on top of your forge, and uh, you need this special fire clay that's super resistant to heat, and it's better than regular clay. All right. And once we do this, we can melt metals here instead of having to go over and do pit kilns to uh, put the metals together. All right, so this is really easy, and you thought you might think, hey, you could do this super early on. Um, what am I looking up? Crucible. I 
totally don't know what I was typing there. Uh, basically, all you need is five fire clay. Problem is, this is fire clay, not regular clay. To make fire clay, you need kaolinite powder and graphite powder. All right, and regular clay in the middle of it. So let me just go to the map. So we got lucky, and we found kaolinite in a hillside right here. That that I mean, that's crazy lucky. If you, if you look at the rest of the map, actually, let's just look through my waypoints. This is the one right next to the house. Do you see any other kaolinite? Can I? Yeah, here we go. Sorted by name. Kaolinite. Oh, I found one other. Okay. So in all of the travels I've done, we found one right here, and actually there's another one close to the house. I remember that too. That's it. That's the only one. I've got, of the ones I marked, and I didn't mark all of them, I got five limonites, I got a bunch of coppers, I got a bunch of bismuth. I mean, kaolinite's a little hard to find, basically. Uh, but it's not the worst. It spawns in eight different rock types, and all those rock types are um, surface layer rocks. So shale is one of them. So we're in a shale biome. We have a chance of finding kaolinite. The problem is, it's not like regular ores where you'll find the, the small. Let's see if we have any in here. Yeah, the small tetrahedrite or small native copper laying on the ground and says, "Oh, by the way, there might be something here." Uh, no, these these are not ores. There's no poor rich, normal, small, whatever. This is, um, I don't know, what do we call them? I don't know what it is. Anyway, they're not regular ores. There's there's no quality to them. And there's no, um, you know, uh, units. There's no 50 units or 25 units or whatever. Uh, so basically that means you can't, unless you find them in the hillside, which we did right over there, which is pretty awesome. Where is it? Right there. 92 meters that way. Uh, you can't find them other than running around with a pro pick and just randomly hitting the dirt and seeing if you can find it. All right, so all that, kaolinite is not the hard one. Graphite is the hard one. Graphite only spawns in four rock types instead of eight, like uh, kaolinite does, and it um, is more rare, and half uh, those four rock types that it does spawn in can be on the second layer down, so it may not even be on the top layer. So you may walk right over it and not find it. That being said, I went, took a boat up here because this is the nice rock. Did I? Yeah, here it is. Nice rock. I don't, is that spelled wrong? Sorry, got to check. G N E I S S. Wow, that looks so so wrong to me for some reason. All right, so nice rock is one of the four that it will spawn in. The others are marble, and I don't remember the other two. <laughs> uh, nice rock marble and two others that it can spawn in. So basically, I took a boat up here, landed over here. As you can see, it was in the winter when I did this, um, because the map's not updated since then. Uh, took a boat, landed here, ran around this little island a little bit, pro picking everywhere. Ran up and down, up and down, up and down, just just hitting the dirt, looking, looking, looking. And out of nowhere, I'm like, okay, this is, you know, this is a pain. Uh, because I might not find it anything. It just may not be any graphite, and if there is, it may not be close enough that I can actually find it by walking over it. Anyway, I got over here and bam, traces of graphite, and I kind of went back and forth and found out, and actually there's a very large vein of graphite right there. The only other graphite that we know of is not uncovered on my map, is it? Uh, yeah, so Blarg has a, a house down here, and Sim's got a house down here, which is cool. And somewhere, I forget exactly where, but somewhere over here they actually found some graphite as well. So that's their graphite, nice and close to them, and I got my own graphite. Uh, still got, oh, two hours. We're almost there. Okay. So all that said, let's go and actually make, sorry, a lot of chatter. But yeah, the, the graphite can be a real problem to find. Here we go. We want to put it into our corn, and then right-click carefully on the top of that little handle. And out comes, oh, you gotta do it, uh, okay, fine. Here, that's why we got two, I guess. You gotta do it once for every piece. That's fine. We're gonna get it here. Back and forth. Grind them all up. Now I know why the Etho had, in, in one of his videos, all of a sudden he had like five or six corns on the ground and he was going back and forth and back and forth. I was like, why bother? Because with the, uh, when you're making flour and stuff, it all just happens on, on one turn. You don't have to do it multiple times. Well, now I know. All right, let's put this in here. Oh, and I keep mentioning Etho, by the way, but he's playing a different uh, TFC pack. It's actually his own custom pack, which is cool. 
but uh, there you go. Alright, so this should make five fire clay. And I only grabbed enough kaolinite and graphite for what we need right now, but um, into the fire, which in vanilla Minecraft is actually the go to the nether one, but there is no nether in TFC. That's funny. Um, okay, so we're going to show it we have five fire clay. Oh, and it's going to give us five more, which is good, I guess. We're going to need more later, but anyway. Uh, okay, so the crucible can be placed on top of your forge. When heated up, you can place most metals inside, but not iron. Uh, so that's that. So let us do this. And let us look it up. I know what it is, but this is important stuff, and I don't want to mess it up. All right, just just like a large vessel. Just leave it one all the way around. Uh, do not want to accidentally screw up and use up my fire clay and not get a crucible. So there we go. Whoops. I don't know why that just dropped, but whatever. All right, we have a crucible. We can now collect our rewards. We get five more fire clay. Awesome. And so we've got a bellows and we've got a crucible to place. All right, so for the bellows, we are going to put it... Let's put it on this side. So bellows... Ah, bellows will make it hotter when we want to work something that needs a higher temperature. And I think you place it this direction. No. Dang it. thought I double-checked that. All right, fine. Uh, all right, fine. You place it from the other direction. You place it this way? Yes, there we go. So literally, cool little bells. Isn't that neat? Of course, it's not on, so it it makes a little uh, particle effect, but it's not actually on. Anyway, and then the crucible we can put right on top of there. And now we have a crucible. Basically, you can take your uh, copper and tin and whatever and put it in this top slot once it's hot. It'll melt that down. It'll show up over here. And then when you've got the uh, right ratios, you can just put your ingot molds right in here, and out comes bronze or whatever you were trying to make. So much easier than going over there and doing the pit kilns all the time. Uh, there is also just a little bit of a room below it, if you look, crucible and then forge. If you go just below it here, the hitbox will let you get at the forges, forge still. And remember, this has to have a chimney uh, with air gaps. This does not block the air, and this, of course, works with it. So... There we go. Now we can make our forge hotter than normal, um, which we might need in a minute because in the real world, this would come out a mess of red hot iron and, um, I want to look at the top, a mess of slag and red hot iron and whatever, and um, you, would you would basically just pull it out and immediately start working it, I think. At least that's what I was seeing people do. Before I start, no, actually, yes. So we break this with a pickaxe and you stand right in front of it and it should pop straight into your inventory. So now we have this raw iron bloom, which is this nasty thing just just full of uh, impurities and problems. So we need to start uh, working that. I don't remember where it put the rest of the coal right now, but that's fine. But to do that, we're going to have to heat it up. Now, like I said, in the real world, this would already be hot, but um, that's fine. That's Minecraft. It's not the real world, which is a good thing, because if it was the real world, well, Anyway, all right, let's put that there, and there was something I wanted over here. Oh, yeah, food. <laughs> I noticed I was getting hungry again. Let me just grab a couple sandwiches. And that's not the most efficient, leaving it out like that, because it will decay, but um, you know what? It's super convenient to uh, leave a few things out there. Get a little drink. Get a little drink. There we go. And... Oh, yeah, by the way, I planted reeds. Uh, these are the normal Minecraft sugarcane is actually reeds and there's an actual sugarcane plant in TFC. Let me just check. Alright, none of the jute has popped out. We were still hitting almost freezing temperatures and the jute was having, the jute and the bell peppers were having trouble uh, staying in the ground, basically. Okay, so this is getting war warmed up and this guy, okay, we're at hot. Uh, the units is 1200. Now I think it's 100 per Huh, we'll find out. I don't remember for sure. You have to split it up at, at, at one point here. Let me just put away a few things. Don't need, do need. Gonna need some room. Let's see, let's get rid of that for now. And remember, you can't put some things, like tools, won't go into here. So, uh, but I don't need that. Or, oh, bellows apparently won't go into there either. I'm gonna make uh, one of these Biblio Woods, Biblio Woods shelves for this, because this you should be able to put right in there. 
Yeah. Actually, we got a second here, don't we? I don't think you can actually... I don't think... Unless you hit the bellows, I don't think um, you can liquefy iron in here. So we actually have a second. Let me just look up the uh, shelf. Okay, so six pl six lumber and one plank of the same type. Bright red. Let's wait till it gets to the next one. Can oh, it just got to can work. Okay, so we've got time. I think that'll go all the way to white before uh, it gets to danger zone. And I don't think... Pine. Do we have a pine plank? What are these? Pine, yes. Uh, I don't think that the forge will get that hot unless you pump it with the bellows. Let's take a look. The forge is actually only orange, I guess? Well, it's getting to yellow. Interesting. Okay, it's working on it. Well, we got time here real quickly. Let's do this and this and this. We have ourselves a lovely little shelf. Let's put that... Uh, the bellows is over there. I don't know. I'm going to put it right there for the moment. And then I will be able to put the... There it is. The flint steel right there. So it's obvious and easy to find. Okay, so we've already burned through a bunch. We're at yellow-white. We can weld and work it now. Good. Are we still warming up, or is that like as hot as we get currently? Yeah, I think that's about it. The regular forge, unless you pump the bellows won't get hotter than this, I believe. So, just to show, not that we need it, but just to show if we pump the bellows a few times here. And I don't think you have to, like, constantly do it. Just do it a little bit. You can see now we've gone from orange, and we are getting hotter here. You pump it once or twice, and then come over here. Ah, danger! <sighs> yeah, if you go beyond, this just disappears completely. And uh, it's gone, and you're done. That was scary. Okay, uh, so basically go into here, hit the plans. The only thing you can do is refine it. So we're basically going to beat on it and knock a whole bunch of the impurities out. Let's see if we can... Uh, uh, yes? Oh, first try! That was... Uh, okay, good job. Go me! Alright, so now we've knocked a bunch of the impurities out. Now we need to split it into pieces that are workable. Because right now it's just one big huge lump of stuff. So let's get this over here, and all we got to do is do punch last. So let's see if this is going to line up. It did! Whoa! And they pop out. So I guess you're supposed to be a little bit closer than that. So, shoot! I hope... Okay, they are 100. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I had exactly enough inventory space to pick all those up. Interesting. I uh, can't do that, that, that. Okay, those two are smaller and will fit in there. Okay, now that we've got this, the only thing you can do is actually refine it into a wrought iron ingot, and they are not warm enough for that anymore. So, I'm going to warm these up. Actually, let's do one on camera. And again, I don't think these, unless you pump the bellows like I did, <clears throat> I don't think these will actually liquefy in here. I think they will be fine. You can just leave them in there basically as long as you want while you work on the other ones. Let's give them a bit more charcoal. Oh, and that's with charcoal. I think coal burns hotter. So if you're doing coal, you might actually have to watch that. Alright, let me grab the first one while those are still warming up. And we're going to try to make a wrought iron ingot. I don't know what the formula is here, but we just need to get three hits at the end. So let's do that. Bend and three lights. Two, three. Oh, beautiful. And again, those will stack, but not until they are uh, cooled off. All right, yellow stars, yellow with four stars. Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned still. Now, if I remember what I did, bend, one, two, three, yes. So I'm a little bit concerned still if we're going to end up losing any of this by overheating it, but I don't think you can. Yeah, I think yellow white is, yellow white with two stars is as hot as you get, although it's not quite what the gauge shows over here. But that's it. We finally have iron. And I kind of wanted to talk through and look, you know, I went and looked up what, wh why is this crazy hard? And, you know, like um, uh, copper and tin and whatever are not. Because it, it seems like just arbitrarily they're like, oh, well, you want iron? Well, you got to do 10 extra steps. Well, that seems to be the real thing. You actually have to do this in the real world. Uh, where with regular... Um, 
with regular, well, actually not all regular, with other metals, with copper and tin and whatever, you can actually find ore, I guess, in the ground and you can work it directly. Uh, where here, you can't. You just find this rock that sort of has some uh, some iron in it and then you have to go through and do all of this work to make actual iron that you can do something with. So. All right, that's it, guys. I'm sure that's been a nice long episode. I have no idea how long I've been talking, but it feels like plenty of time. So that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed all my talk about bloomeries and iron and stuff. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, I guess. Hope you guys are enjoying. Leave me a feedback. Tell me about I talk too much. <laughs> or, uh, or, or that I don't. Whatever. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear back from you all. So that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you later.